I'm interested in. So let me put a little back, uh, a, little, a little context first. So right now there is some um, employment funding that seems to be um, allowing people to dictate their terms to an employer, whether it be from a remote perspective, uh, whether going into the office perspective, whether it being, I don't want to work, I can get more money on unemployment than, than not. Um, I'm interested in just your thoughts on the thing that we just talked about, how you were stuck 20 years ago on a couch that you didn't own with a hundred bucks in your mind. And you had this mindset that was like, I, I personally need to get myself out of that Mm -hmm. uh, and kind of pair that to what seems to be at least the narrative that is coming out from a lot of um, uh, individuals that, that aren't there yet. How, How does someone kind of push through when they're down like you were 20, 21 years ago to, and not be looking for what so many call a handout to just to, to, to get to where you are. Yeah. So I, I think so much of it boils down to integrity and somebody has uh, integrity for themselves and for others that they, they want, you know, I, I never wanted a handout. I, I, in fact, I never received a handout. Um, I, it, it's, it's, kind of ironic. I, I, for the most part, I grew up in a mobile home, uh, in California on my grandmother's ranch. Uh, my mom, she was a waitress and it was me and my brother and uh, my mom in a one bedroom mobile home. And so, uh, but I knew, I knew from a very young age that I wanted to do something great and I wanted to be able to help others. And I think it, you know, as an employer, you really got to meet your people where they're at, right? Like you, you can't, if they want to, if there's people that want to stay on unemployment because it pays more, um, it's certainly their prerogative. Um, but I think that what they're going to find is it's going to be really difficult as those benefits kind of go away. Uh, it's going to be really hard for them to find the job that they'd really want to be in. And s- instead, they're just going to be settling for jobs because now they've come accustomed to that unemployment. Um, and I think that I think what you're going to find too is that where where people are, you know, struggling right now, you know, to be able to help people with a hand up, you know, not a hand out, but give them a hand up. Like, what can I do that will help someone be successful? What can I do um, to uh, help someone be in a better spot than where they're at now? And you start with one person, you know, you, you literally change the world with one person at a time. So those who are, who are stuck in that rut, um, First of all, I, you know, I, I, I think that faith is really important. Um, but, but, you know, if you're not a faith driven person, then maybe find, you know, find helping someone. I think when you start helping people, um, it really changes your perspective in life and what's important. And that day on Thanksgiving, by the way, um, I, when I woke up and I knew everybody was leaving, going out to the, with their family and I, yeah, I was certainly, certainly down. Um, I chose that day to go to the soup kitchen and serve. And when, when I did that, it was amazing when I got back, not only exhausted, but then I reminded myself, like, wait a second, I'm unlocking the door to a house. Although I don't own it, and although I can barely afford the room, I'm still unlocking the door to a house where I feel safe. And, um, and I'm very appreciative to that person who uh, had that house and did that for me. Um, but I, you know, I think that those who are kind of down, like find, find a way to help someone. It's amazing the power of helping people, um, what that can do for you. 